I'm browning some Italian sweet sausage. So I just want to cut up the sausage a little bit so every bite of pasta gets a little bit of flavor. So while that finishes off, grab some broccoli. So I'm going to put my greens in the baked pasta. So you just want to cut it up. OK, let's take all the broccoli and toss it right on top of the sausage. A little bit of salt to season it. And then we're going to take some garlic, just smash it, and just peel the skin off of it. Time for the sauce. So I just have some marinara. You can always use store-bought, your favorite jarred sauce. Just make sure that all of the broccoli in the sausage gets a little bit of the sauce. I am gonna throw my pasta in. And the pasta is only gonna cook for a very little amount of time, like five minutes, because it's gonna finish cooking in the dish. That way you don't overcook the pasta. It's still got a little bit of a, a bite to it. And we're gonna make rigatoni, which are my little favorite little tube pasta with lines on it. There we go. Pasta's in. So I've got a cup of ricotta cheese and I have some mozzarella that I'm gonna put on top of the pasta once we're done. I'm gonna take some fresh basil and we're gonna chop the basil, add it to the ricotta cheese because we're gonna dollop a little bit of ricotta, like little hidden gems inside the baked pasta, which I think will be fun to eat. Okay, basil in and a little bit of salt to season it. Mix it all together. That's done. Now, let's check on our pasta. I'm not gonna taste it because it's not cooked yet. There we go. But it's got a nice texture to it. I'm gonna add it right into the pan. I need my ladle. We're gonna do about a half a cup of pasta water. Remember, the pasta water adds that little extra moisture that we need to uh, cook the broccoli. We're gonna grate some parmigiano, Reggiano cheese. Perfect. Okay. So now, just toss everything together and see the pasta continues to cook in here and it absorbs all the flavors of the sausage and the sauce. So I take the ricotta cheese and I take some dollops of it, and we're just gonna dollop it in different parts, and then I'll just sort of hide it with the rest of the pasta, just cover it up. Take some of the pasta and just cover it up. Because the ricotta will melt slightly, but it won't melt like a mozzarella. That's why I like it inside instead of on top. Add the mozzarella to get a nice sort of cheesy crust on top. So just some shredded mozzarella. Make sure it's on top of all of the rigatoni. Look at that. We're gonna pop this in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes until all the cheese is melted and we get a nice cheesy golden crust on top. 